This is the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro. It's the successor to the Lenovo Yoga 13 from 2012, with better specs, better screen, and Windows 8.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at this laptop, shall we? Taking a look at the hardware on first glance, it looks almost like any other Windows Ultrabook, weighing in at just 3.06 pounds, or 1.3 kilos, and a thickness of just 0.61 inches. But the major selling point of the Yoga series is the hinge, which can tilt 360 degrees, giving it a range of different poses, like the stand mode, and the weirdly named tent mode. If you tilt the screen all the way around, you can turn the yoga into a cumbersome large tablet, which makes every other tablet look small, literally. In terms of specs, the model I have here includes a 1.6 GHz Intel Core i5 with Haswell, which is nice. 4 GB of RAM is also included, and a 256 GB SSD for storage. Now you can get a model with a 1.8 GHz Core i7 processor and 8 GB of RAM, but that model can be quite expensive for most folks, so this one's fine for most needs. One big change of the Yoga 2 Pro over the Yoga 13 is the screen resolution. Instead of the Yoga 13 1600x900 screen, the Yoga 2 Pro includes a 3200x1800 resolution screen, which is Quad HD. That is huge. In fact, it beats the 13-inch MacBook Pro Retina display in resolution and pixel density. But unlike the MacBook Pro, however, the scaling technology isn't as powerful as the one in Mac OS X. Which brings us to software. Samsung figured the resolution scaling thing with the Ative Book 9 Plus by including their own scaling software. Lenovo, on the other hand, didn't include any special software for this, meaning, meaning out of the box, most of the interface is tiny on the 13-inch screen, and apps like Chrome in Metro mode is almost impossible to use properly. On a more positive note, Windows 8.1, which comes out of the box, runs very nicely on the Yoga 2 Pro. Lenovo has included some applications, which are meant to get you to use the most of the usage modes as often as possible. One of them is YogaPix, which detects when you flip the screen to a different position, and gives you suggestions of what apps will be appropriate for that mode. So if you tilt the screen into tablet mode, a notification will pop up on the right side, just like when you plug in a USB drive. And you can ignore it, or tap it, and give a suggestion of apps to use. As well as including Skype and Netflix, and a bunch of other third-party apps we don't need to mention, Lenovo has included this app called Yoga Cameraman, which allows you to use the webcam with photo frames and filters, which can be a bit pointless, depending on your taste. Overall, the software on the Yoga 2 Pro is pretty smooth, but can be a bit lacking in most cases. Coming over to the keyboard, it's pretty much unchanged from the Yoga 13, which could be a good thing, because the keys are pretty responsive and have a good amount of treble. And the inclusion of a backlit keyboard is pretty nice. For an Ultrabook that costs £1,000, the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro is pretty good for the money. With a brilliant 3200 by 1800 display, a highly versatile design, and a lighter body than the Yoga 13, I think the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro is good, if you want a decent Windows Ultrabook, but can't be bothered to pay an expensive price for it. The poor desktop scaling, relatively short battery life, and so-so touchpad may annoy some people, but I think the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro is well worth it if you're looking for a tablet-laptop hybrid. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me in the future. And you can follow me on Twitter to hear about what's happening on my channel in the forthcoming weeks. So, all I have to say is thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be still with the with the
Future. And you can follow me on Twitter to hear about what's up, Cup of Your Kick. Try again. Feels very awkward like this, but. Yeah, let me just don't.